I hope everybody had a very splendid and happy new year. I've just come back from an amazing trip with my friends on Shooton Island on the east coast of Tasmania. Oh, I'm still buzzing. It's been a fantastic week with the best people. To my friends that are watching this, thank you so much for making it such a memorable experience. But today's mission, uh, I thought I'd actually lounge around all day, but it got to about two o'clock and I thought, I can't sit still, I'm gonna do something. So I've got a couple of combinations here with me and I'm up for a little bit of rock fishing, seeing if I could flirt with a couple of salmon. I've also got a little popper that I might pull out on my switch bait and pen slammer combo and see if I can wrangle up a kingfish. I don't think they're around at the moment, but it is warming up and the ocean is warming up. So hopefully they're coming down to the east coast of Tasmania with those warmer currents. But I've got a little bit of a journey ahead of me here. So I'm going to uh, kick back, take in the scenery. And I'm also going to show you just a quick little reel of what we've been up to over the last week. The fishing was horrible, but the energy was amazing. I am shaking off the last couple of days of camping out here on Shooton Island with my buddies. Uh, it has been a fantastic couple of days. We've had about 30 of us camping out here on the island. Um, fishing, marinating, hiking, drinking. Lots of drinking. Probably not enough fishing. But today, hopefully we're gonna change that. Um, I've scattered out a couple of marks. We've actually got a really good forecast for today. So I think what we'll do is head out and try and get a stripey on the jig. I think that's all we'll do today. It's meant to be our last day here for this trip on the island. So I'm gonna pick up Jimbo. I reckon I can convince him to come for a quick mission and then we'll see what we can get onto and hopefully we can take some, uh, some more fish home to the family. So this is the beautiful scene that we have been camping in the last couple of nights. We've got a very hungover, fast, handsome fast, Nicholas handsome. here. He may have given it, a, I think he gave it a solid shot yesterday. <laughs> got the boys here lined up. Here's our camp. This creek the other night, oh sorry, estuary? It's estuary the other night. Look at all of these brim coming through here. Or are they mullet? Yeah, I don't know if you can see them just there, but they're pretty thick. The first couple of nights we stayed here, I ended up setting up my swag just right on the river here. And as this mouth of the river opened up, all of the fish and the bait just got pushed up here. And it was just like a bubble bath the whole night. You just come and point a torch on it and then bam. Some of these guys are actually pretty big. Comment down below what you think that species of fish is. You smell nice. First fish for 2021. 22, oh no, I've caught myself out. A bit slow this morning, but these guys are tough as anything. I will just never get sick of looking at this landscape. A, uh, a pretty slow morning and even slower morning for Nick, but he's hanging in there. <laughs> hanging on. <laughs> hanging on and hanging in. Pretty much our last drop for today. We've got to head back to civilization. It's been a good couple of days on the island. <sighs> oh, 
Yeah, look how thick that is. Holy moly. I reckon they're snook. Literally walking to the path and straight down in the middle here is the biggest school of bait. It's pretty close. Pretty close. So that first school of bait that I just spotted We've done a whole loop around the bay, and now they're coming back in close again, just over here. It looks like they might actually come back around. So they're obviously being chased by something, but there's a strong ripple on the water. Sorry for the background noise. Waves, can you be quiet? I'm going to get the rest of my gear here, so I've got something to switch over to if the silver wobbler doesn't work. That's my tactic for now. I'm just going to wait and be patient. Oop. That's a fish. Swapping helps. Righto, what have we got here? Oh, we've got a blue throat trying to eat it. Look at that blue throat. Look how big he is. He's trying to eat the snook. <laughs> He's going for a feed. He is massive. Oh my gosh, what? He is trying to go for it. He is just hungry as anything. Oh my God, that blue throat just absolutely wanted to crush that snook for dinner. Look at him, he's just here too. I'm sure if I dangle this guy, he'll come back up and annoy him. Look, here he is. He is going for him. Look how big this blue throat is, man. He wants to eat the whole snook. He must be so hungry. A very little fun fact for you is that all of this orange lichen on the rocks, originally the Bay of Fires, which is this whole stretch of coastline here, a lot of people tend to think that it's named Bay of Fires because of the orange lichen. A fun fact is that the reason why it's called Bay of Fires is due to the fact that when English settlement first came to Tasmania, all they saw was that whole coastline lit up by Aboriginals burning off for their planned burns to look after the land. Not because of the orange lichen. There you go. Who said you don't learn anything fishing? There's something. There we go. Took a few more hits that time. I could feel him chasing it in. I reckon we've got another snook on our hands, the way he's fighting. Ah, and he's off. Oh, he's still there. There's something there following it. <laughs> I wonder why that hook is just not setting. I might actually have to go to a smaller hook. Yesterday after that little session in um, <clears throat> Skeleton Bay on the East Coast, I decided I'd get a brim fish, no luck. So today is the last day that I have on the coast to actually get onto some table fish. And the weather out the front of the east coast is horrible. Two meter swell, 10 second period, but the wind's about 25, 30 kilometers. So I'm gonna fish in the bay today, hopefully pick something up. If not, nobody's ever gonna see this footage. And if so, thanks for sticking around. I thought I'd have a quick play with the good old faithful silver wobbler. Chuck the slammer on. Managed to nail a nice little cocky. Got a bit of size to him. So it's good to know that these guys are hanging about still. They were boiling up a bit earlier, so I think what I'll do is I'll give this guy a nice little clean release. Thanks for playing with us, mate. We'll see you later. 
Unfortunately, that is all the fishing action that I have for you over my Christmas break. It felt good not having the real tools out to film it. Thankfully, other people catch fish and they wear Tazcast hoodies. Here are a couple of shots from Jack in the States North wearing his Tazcast hoodie, getting onto some beautiful snapper on the soft plastics. Don't forget to tag us in your photos wearing your hoodies to be featured on the next episode. Until next time, let's get fishy baby. Look after one another, be safe on the water, and we'll see you next time.